Hi! You, all over the world, that's you. Hey, hello. I'm GPS, and I'm still kind of sick, but not as much as I used to. And today's episode is... The Girati! Mine isn't yellow, because my pee is blank. No, this is water. Or is it? Still doing North Shape November, wearing a beret, because my hair looks not cool. And uh, today's show was submitted by, I already forgot your name, but you're in the Steam group. That's how it works. I have a Steam group you can join, and you can submit topics and stuff like that. And if it's a topic I like, and it's not dumb, I will cover it. So Jurati is definitely not a dumb topic, so we will be covering this item today. Um, a lot of people think it's, you know, better than everything else, which it is not, and I will cover that today too. Uh, I also have a Twitter you can follow, High GPS. Steam group is called High GPS as well. So before we start uh, going into the um, the show, I just wanted to remind everyone that you can submit your replays and and uh, stuff like that to me, highgpsreplays at gmail.com. Uh, if there's some certain games or certain classes or a certain person you want me to examine, because we're going to do that too from competitive play, uh, you can submit that as well. So next time we're going to be examining a sniper from a competitive play and see if they use Jirai or not. That's why we're kind of doing this now. So, to start off by Jirai, in case you have no idea what Jirai is, or you've seen it, but you don't know the stats of it, the thing is, like, when you throw Jirai, it takes 20 seconds to recharge. And if you hit somebody with it, it lasts for 10 seconds, or it lasts for 5 seconds if they're being constantly healed by a target, because um, if they're being healed while they get hit, it's, like, half, but if you, like, get healed after you get hit, it's slightly shorter. So healing people definitely leaves you with less hit less piss for some reason and when you're in Jurati and you're covered in pee uh, you take mini crits and um, how much damage is mini crits uh, let's see here mini crits 35% uh, additional damage so this weapon right here serves as a defense debuff as you take 35% more damage from everything and you can also use it to you know, put out a fire, it says that in the description, you can also use it for cloaked spies, it's really a utility. It's pretty powerful, but it's not necessarily better than the... the uh, SMG. Because uh, in terms of reliability, I'll be talking about this. So this is Salvage Spaghetti Crate. Probably a new name he's gonna be playing here, Sniper on Gold Rush. He's gonna be on blue. He's gonna be taking a bit of a forward position here as you do as a sniper, that's very important. He's using the Jurati Bushwaka maybe, and he's in a good spot here. You know, this is a good sniper spot. Stay in the back here and you have a line of sight. It's not that many open spaces they can stay in. It's like like I said in the sniper episode where you have this little box area. He has that, so everything's fine. He gives him nice headshots there. He gets the soldier. And this is also a very good spot, you see they don't have like a lot of space to move and it's easy to shoot them and it's a very good uh, sniper spot there. And it's hard for them to kind of get close to you, in a way. So you're seeing he is still there, he gets shot in the air by a couple of rockets and then falls uh, back and avoiding a ton of spam. And then gets a shot on the soldier again, so two kills already. And he sees him again. now he's on fire! Oh, what are you gonna do? Throw Jurati, alright, he's fine. Keep in mind, he can't throw it again for 20 seconds. So that's 20 seconds of nothingness. You don't have a secondary weapon for 20 seconds. And then he gets a shot in the pyro. And he's using the bushwhack, which means he is weak against fire. So you gotta be extra careful about pyros as a sniper then. And he gets a scout just decides to stand still. Because he thinks he's Neo and can dodge bullets, but you can't. Here comes the Dreddy, he throws it, but he's dead. And throwing Jurati after your death is good. Let's see, does it hit anything? No. Okay. We're done with that replay. So we that was one example. We see that Jurati is merely meant to uh, to help you. It's good for putting out the fire when you're on fire and pyros are burning you and stuff like that. Keep in mind, it only does it once. So if the pyro shoots a flare at you and you throw the Jurati and you're on fire again, which means you're where you started, and you're not doing too well. Oh, doing the Jurati Bushwaka, that is very powerful. Okay, keep in mind, the Bushwaka does uh, mini crits when it does crits when it should have done mini crits. 
So instead of doing mini crits, it does crits on people that's in Jurati. So you can one shot a lot of classic does like 193 or 97 damage. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, Chain here. Already gotten a couple of kills here. Throws Jurati on his soldier, puts him out of flames. That is uh, useful. Same as distinguished from a pyro, you get points for doing that. So there's no reason really not to. I mean, you have it. You have Jurati. That's why you should have it. Now he tries for a really, really funky headshot here. This is hard, man. Like shooting below because they can go any kind of dire direction and it's not really predictable and it's like a lot harder than if they're on the flat surface like here because it's you know, you know easier to shoot targets that's on your same level and there's no height when it's flat it's a lot easier than shooting if they're like right below you just in the whole angles and stuff and all how that works and uh, this play this map is fast lane I like this map it's a spicy map crit rocket woo barely escaping that one so now he's in a good spot. This is a really good sniper spot. Like I said, you see the doors work as tiny windows. The soldier just walks into his cross here and just pulls the trigger and he kills him. And he sees another spy, throws the Jurati, and the spy, even though it was cloaked, is visible in Jurati. So it's uh, very anti-spy as well, uh, in the way that it's intended for Dead Ringer. Because usually if a spy uses Dead Ringer, it's very hard to track him where he is, because even if he bumps into people, he won't, his silhouette won't be visible, so he'll still be completely invisible, unless he has extended his uh, cloak by picking up some ammo. And there's that spy again, throws it to Jurati, and here it is, Dead Ringer, you can see where he is, but you can't really stop him though. He has still the damage reduction, so he's like, damage reductions on mini crits, and this spy is just gonna be able to get away. Uh, but we saw him get away, so we, we know that he's no longer around us. And everything is fine. You see a spy scout, and uh, keep in mind, if you disguise as a scout, as a spy, you your hitbox is very different. And then chain dies to an arrow in the face. So that is another example we've seen Jurati so far being used to put out fires and then throwing it at cloaked spy. And now we're gonna look at an example where you could have run the SMG and you wouldn't really had that much different outcome of your play because SMG is very reliable. And you ask me why is why is the SMG reliable? Well, it doesn't rely on anyone else but you. And what I mean by that is, you pull out the SMG, and then you shoot, and if your aim is good, you hit. So it's all de dependent on you, it's very reliable, because as long as you can shoot, you will hit. You know, that is the gist of the uh, SMG, you know? Whenever you shoot, you do damage, as long as you aim right. But with Jurati, it's like, well, you hit them, but Jurati itself doesn't do anything. Like, if you throw... Jurati and nobody shoots at them and it wears off it's like nothing happened so Jurati is very much rely reliant on are you able to get the hit or is your team able to get the hit is very much the gist of it uh, other than like using it as a utility for like um, tracking down spies and stuff like that you also have the tribalsman shiv which makes the spies bleed when you hit them so it's kind of like a way to track down too but Jurati is definitely the, the better choice And why I'm saying this is, Sniper is a support class, and Jurati is probably one of the most supporty weapons in the game. It's a similar to Uber Charge, you know? Because if you're a medic, and you Uber, but you don't Uber anyone, Uber itself doesn't do anything. Like, you're invulnerable, that's, that's it, nothing else happens. It's kind of like, Jurati, you throw, oh, you take more damage, but nobody shot at you. Oh, okay. People asking in the chat, what's the point of a crit Jurati? Because sometimes you get random crits Jurati. The thing is, absolutely nothing. It just looks fancy. Uh, by the way, this is um, Salvage Spaghetti Crate. And he's um, basically doing a lot of work. He's thrown Jurati a couple of times. It hasn't done anything. And even if he used Jur uh, SMG at this point, his results would have been the same because he's mainly used it. Here comes another Jurati throw. Let's see where this goes. He throws the Jurati and there is no one around the cart. Splash. Doesn't hit anybody. Nothing happens. And now you don't have a secondary weapon for 20 seconds. So, once again, back to the reliability thing. Because keep in mind, if you miss with the SMG and you run out of bullets, you just reload and you have another clip. And you can continue shooting. With the uh, Jurati, you, you don't have anything for 20 seconds after you've thrown it. So you gotta be very careful when you throw it. And there we have uh, him doing like the jumpy thing and he has missed the other sniper that's been standing still. Did he? No, he's still alive. Like he has been... 
This is very important as a sniper. Don't jump unless you're dodging explosives or are trying to ride bullets away. Because you will s subconsciously stress yourself up and you will miss more shots. And this other sniper, this guy right here, he has been standing still for the majority of the time. And you could have killed him if you just took a bit of extra time and just made sure you hit him. And you see you do the jump, uh, the jump thing, the uh, as he did still. No, now he didn't do it. Okay. Okay, he doesn't do it now. <laughs> the medic takes a crit rocket for him. Yeah, survive that. Yeah, doing the jump again. Why? Why did you do that? It looks stupid, and <laughs> it's really unnecessary. A lot of players do that, but you know, don't. It's not worth it, really. Unless you're if, unless you're like jumping on a rock and you're trying to surf away from it, then you can do it. But otherwise, it doesn't really matter. And you see, he missed the soldier, and he, he got it on the second shot. And you see, on the second shot, he didn't jump after he shot him. What does that tell you? So it denies the uh, sentry there. Still in a very good spot. Let's see over here on the. Uh George Ruddy! Does it- is anyone there? No, yeah, kind of. Almost got a soldier. Almost. He's looking around, see if he can get anything else. He gets a sniper that was standing still, nice. And he's like, yeah, you should jump, right? Yeah, so... This is what I don't get. He stands here in the open, and here he jumps where it's easier to shoot. Like, if you jump, there's, like, no roof covering your head, so you will still get hit. Because keep in mind, a sniper pulls the trigger when he has the crosser on your head, so depend, regardless of what you do, as soon as his crossers are in your head, you, he shoots and you die, so it doesn't really matter. But here, if you jump and do that thing, your head will actually be above this ledge. But in here, he doesn't do it for some reason. I don't know. Like, it just shows that they don't know what they, they do. Um... But, it, but what it does do is that it unscopes you faster. Yeah, it unscopes you faster, but you don't switch weapons. And unscoping faster is only good if you switch weapons. And... Here we have another... Uh, finally, a proper use of, of this is gonna be uh, finding the spy here. And that's like the only thing he's done all around. Just showing a cloaked spy that manages to get, a get away anyway. So, at this point in time, if he'd used the SMG, there would be n n really no difference in, in the results. And then the on the soldier, and he goes flying. That's where you jump, man. You surf on those rockets, you take less damage, because that's how the game is designed. That's why you can crouch in the air, so you can rocket jump and stuff like that. That is why you can do that, not because you can jitter around like a fucking retard. And once again, we've seen that really not a lot has happened because... <laughs> oh, there's a soldier again. Okay, he jumps. That's fine, you can jump on rockets. That is good. Take less damage. Yeah, that's a, pro that's a proper way to do it. And then he's a soldier. He doesn't jump there for some reason. Okay. Well, he grabs a health kit, and he's gonna go forward here. Uh, see some another sniper. He gets him in a blind spot. Excellent counter sniping there. Out positioning him. Very nice. So that was a mini sentry. Only takes, uh, in competitor it takes two shots, but sometimes if um, damage spread is a bit different, it takes more. He only has 100 health, so there's like two body shots and the minus entry's dead. That's essentially how it works, and then he just gets taken up by the uh, engineer. So, yeah, that was an example of that him using Jurati didn't really have that much of an effect on the situation because he was mostly standing in the back and taking shots. And Jurati, like, he he got a spy that was in the dead ringer, but the spy got away anyway. So, the only difference is that this, you saw that the spy escaped, but otherwise he wouldn't. But then you could have just listened for the dead ringer and it wouldn't really matter anyway. So, this is back to chain. It's gonna be playing sniper. We're on the Badlands here. Let's see what he does. He does a fairly standard thing. I think he's gonna be standing in the house and shoot out. So he is, yeah, here he is. He sees a mini sentry. That's an excellent choice to shoot it. There's no reason really not to because there's nothing else to shoot. So he gets the headshot on the soldier. Looks a bit off because it's demos and uh, replays and it looks a bit off. That's fine. 
Uh, no, he's gonna be scoping in. Yep, he's taking his time, lands a shot. Uh, it was a headshot because he heard the crit thing. Takes out a sniper as well. He doesn't jump because he doesn't have to! See? <laughs> then he takes a soldier as well. And I really like the sniping. He has a really good position. He's using the angles to his advantage. Takes out the pyro as well. Oh, there's a soldier there. And here's the thing. Here's excellent, right? Here's the thing. He sees the soldier. And, and you know, if he, at this point in time, when the soldier was here, and if he shot him, the soldier would be like, what shot me? I'll turn around. So let's see what he does. He has a Jurati. He's probably running the bushwhack. So let's see what he does. Throws Jurati on the soldier. The soldier's like, oh yeah, right. And then he shoots some rockets. And he's okay, got the bushwhack out. Uh-oh. Okay, so he shoots. Keep in mind, you do 68 damage instead of 50. You do 30... 5% more damage. So keep in mind, because of this, just to do some, um, just to do some math, for those of you who like that stuff, I don't have any math jokes because I'm not a math major, but keep in mind, if you throw Jurati at somebody and that person gets killed completely in one setting while they're in Jurati, it's like you took off 35% of their health, technically. You did that, but keep in mind if they if they survive and they get healed back up, it's like you didn't do anything. Because even if they they didn't were in Jurati, they wouldn't they wouldn't have died. And there he goes. The engineer was quite predictable and just ran in there. He throws Jurati. Used the bushwhack. I one shot him. You can do that every. I think the only class you can't one shot with that are sold that is not overhealed are soldiers and heavies, I think. Everything else, you can do that because you did like 190 something damage with that. But you're weak to pyros, and pyros are strong close combat, and snipers are weak strong close strong close combat. So you really just get one shot at this. We will get back to this handling pyros uh, close combat uh, before. The control point is being captured. So he grows back, grabs some more health, and he's back in action. He switches weapon because... I see a lot of snipers do that. They shoot and then they switch weapons. Like, and then they're back. And it. The only thing it does is it stresses you out. Get takes away your focus. It's like when you open a door and you knock on it. Like, there's like OCD, is that what we call it? When you like have to open a door a specific number of times before closing it. It's kind of like that. Don't do it. Because what happens? What can happen? When you're in the middle, like, like, well, there's no one here, and then you just do, do this, and then you run into something, and you're like, oh, I wish I didn't switch weapons, because then I would have my weapon ready. And here's a ready on the soldier. Ah, oh, yes, okay. This is good. There's a jar of piss. This is a soldier. Soldiers and Jurati, yeah! And, um... The effect is over and absolutely nothing happened on the soldier. Nothing. He didn't take any damage. What did Jurati do? Well, it made him look yellow for a slight period of time. And that was it. N nothing else. That was all. So, Jurati... Like I said, doesn't do anything unless you shoot the people. So in that case, if you throw Jurati and you, you know, it's a wasted slot at the moment. You didn't get any results for it. Had he used the SMG or something, he would have done some damage and be like, Yeah, well, I, I did four damage, but four damage is better than no damage. And I was gonna fall to his death. Yes, okay. So we've seen some that the Jurati isn't as reliable. As the SMG, because it relies on, on different things. One thing you don't want to have is an item that relies on the enemy to do something. Because, um, you know, this is team based and Jurati is a very team oriented uh, uh, play. It's, you know, helps everything. Can uh, check for spies, put people out of fire, DA buffs the enemy, and that's pretty much all it does. Um, and it's also a good check to see if someone's around a corner as a sniper, because sometimes, you know, they would go like, Ugh! when people get hit in Jurati, and they will actually, you will actually hear what's around the corner, so that's also something you can do. Uh, but keep in mind that then you have 20 seconds of nothing.
on your secondary slots. So this is Chain, he's uh, back again, I think. And this is the replay we just saw. Because I loaded the wrong one, whoops. Oh, wait, did Tiff2 crash? I hope, I hope it didn't crash, shouldn't crash. All right, we're good. So this is... Who's this? Red. Harge. Harger. It's blank sniper. And he shoots the scout. Throws Jurati. Yeah, hits the demo man. The demo man takes some damage, and the demo man goes down. And he would have died anyway, even if he didn't throw Jurati. But it's the thought that counts. You just want it to be extra sure. It's when you see demo man. That have stickies and four stickies is really all you need to kill any class that comes around a corner and they put like eight stickies in one spot and they're like yeah yeah i know you only need like four but i'm gonna put eight just to be sure and also you get free assists you get points <laughs> that's another way to do it uh but, it, but it's like you know you don't always know that you know you, there might be enemies behind them might be an invisible spy oh shit! there's an engineer Get him, yeah, oh, uh-oh, it's a pyro, throw that Jurati. Knock him! Hit the scout, get the scout! Oh, health pack, health pack! Oh, hasn't that happened to everybody? Because keep in mind, the bushwhacker makes you take more damage from pyros and you burn a lot easier and you die a lot more to pyros. It's like if you run the Blautsager as a medic, you will notice that you die. If you use the Blautsager for like forever and you switch back to the regular syringe gun, you will notice you die a lot less. So this is actually Faustal! Yeah, his name is... Dubs 3 Suggers. That's his name. He was wearing the AV AWP because... Yeah. Because, you know, and this is actually really nice. Ah, they're clustering on the point. Oh, hero Jurati time. Hero Jurati time. Oh, here it comes. Gets everybody and soldiers capitalizing. He's dead as shit, though. But yeah, boom. This is bits. And this engineer is like, well, I guess I'm dead. Excellent. So that is another thing that is very good with Jurati is when people are clustering around a cart or on a point, throwing a Jurati there is very good because it gets them to scatter if they know it's like, well, if we're covered in Jurati and we stick together, there's a big chance a demo can just kill all of us with like two bombs. So we should, you know, split. We keep in mind if you if you get hit in Jurati and you just stay near the dispenser on the cart, it will only last for five seconds. You won't have Jurati for ten seconds. You will only have it for five. Yes. So we will go on to the next one. So, uh, do I recommend Jurati for everybody? Is a question nobody asked, but I'm going to answer that. The answer is no, because some snipers, you're, it's only if your style allows it. You know, if you're in a supportive or if you're like those guys who tries to thinks you're a soldier or a heavy and tries to kill everybody and just quick scope, extravaganza, everything everywhere all the time. Uh, Jurati is probably not for you. SMG might be a better choice for you then. Throws Jurati. Did it hit anything? No. But if anything was being hit, he would get hit. So this is uh, Gozizan. Reporting for duty again. He's gonna use the uh, Huntsman. So why not? Grab some health kids running around. Oh! Oh, missing the soldier. Oh, okay. okay if he comes up the stairs, he's. Ah! Oh. Ah! He hit something! I think. Yeah, the wall. Take that wall. You got the soldier. Yeah, I'm a headshot because he screamed. Oh, I thought that one's coming. Shoot. Oh, fall back. Fall back. Really incoming. That's good. Using voice commands to help your team. That is important. 
And okay, oh shit, okay, there's a bunch of guys there. Throw Gerardi! This is not a good sign. Then he's gonna throw it, yeah, because he. We have some Gerardi exception here. It's he's still holding it and it's being thrown. Okay. And then he hits the spine. The spine's like, well, if I stand completely still, he won't. Oh. I guess he saw me. Yeah. If you're in Gerardi, run. You're so weak. You're 35% weaker. Uh, you know, I, I say sometimes that if you stand completely still, sometimes players won't see you because they're looking around so quickly and all they're looking for is movement. Kind of like a T-Rex kind of thing. But that doesn't work in Gerardi because you're fucking yellow. <laughs> and then I goes on just dies too. I don't know, something. Something we don't really care about. Kill them. So let's move on uh, to the next one. So we've seen that if you get covered in Gerardi, you should be a bit defensive or you can go like all uh, crazy suicide. So this, uh, I think that was the last use of submitted. Yeah, it's all going to be me from now on playing with the Gerardi. So we're just going to go around here and... Oh, it's a oh, Pyro! Get the Pyro! Get the... Wrong replay. All right, <laughs> we'll go look at a proper one. And that is dealing with um, pyros uh, as a sniper when they get too close to you and doing the Gerardi, bu Gerardi bushwalk, I think. You can use the Kukri. Uh, so here I'm using the Bizarre Bargain, that's my practice rifle because it's really bad and that's the reason I'm using it. Just getting headshots left and right throwing. Gerardi doesn't hit the what? What? Okay. So here we are, okay, we're in the shooting, and Bound gets it anyway. That's the sniper, another dumb bone, killing him, okay, fine, we're another soldier. Gerardi time! Throw net! Oh, right, I hit the front of the uh, rock. Okay, and then the soldier just blows up. So that is something also to consider. Sometimes, like uh, with Gerardi, it doesn't always work. Because keep in mind, if there's someone standing like behind here, and I throw and I hit in front here, even though the animation goes through, I won't actually hit him. It has to be proper. So if I throw Gerardi, like if someone is standing, if, if if Gerardi was thrown here, I wouldn't get hit because that's how it works. So it has to be a flat surface uh, in order to properly hit. So a bit weird about the, the detection. So you're gonna be moving up here, getting the medic, <laughs> shooting the pipe, shooting the wall. And then we shoot. And then we start pushing the cart. Push, 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 push with the rest of our team. Now we're gonna check our back. Oh, we turned around, saw a spy. And then it's like, yeah, well, you know, I saw the spy. And then I was like, yeah, he might go into the windows or something. He's actually here because he's turned around. So I just gave him some time. And that is a very strange way of holding a rifle. Oh, dude, I, what the hell, man? <laughs> I'm holding a rifle. You see this rifle? is mine. I'm holding it like this. You like to give the spy enough time to run around and throw there. So you don't want to throw it, try it for, um, for too long. Doesn't really matter at this point. Throwing Gerardi. Don't have a secondary weapon right now. Um... Have you noticed something? Have you? With the um, replay so far? No? We haven't gotten stabbed. A single time. They also know hats that is also viable. But we haven't gotten stabbed in. in Anyway, but we also caught the spies, so... I don't know, I guess you don't need that fucking thing on your back. Because, you know... 
for the live stuff. Oh, seeing a sniper there. He's standing still. That's an easy target. And then, oh, there's a pyro here. Oh, shit. Throwing the Jurati, hitting him. Yeah. That is something that doesn't always work. And that is when the pyro comes at you, and you know the pyro is coming close, and you have the opportunity to shoot him, the thing is, even if you headshot the pyro, your headshot only does 150 damage, which means the pyro is going to have... 25 health left because he usually has 175 you know in case he has overheal then he has more so that means he you won't have enough damage output to kill him because he will like burn you and your your crosser will go like like this not switching weapons when you switch weapons that's like that's when you switch weapons when you go like that the, the, the flinch 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 it's very hard to hit with your sniper rifle because like aiming a pencil that goes this and you're not the one doing it, so it can be kind of hard. So the best alternative there, if you have Jurati, is just to pull out the Jurati, throw it at the ground, you will extinguish yourselves, you will get a point for it, I think, and then the Pyrus and Jurati, and then you hit him once with the Bushwhacka, and then you survive. But you might die to the um, after burn damage. So let's see how this works, you know, we're gonna see that again. So you're gonna kill the Sniper, and here comes the Pyro, and I see the Pyro, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the Medic, and let's see how we have this. We've seen this before already. So you see, the pyro could actually just air blast us, and we would have been dead as shit, but it doesn't. So we just throw it on the ground, and then he's chasing us still, still using the flamethrower, and then we just hit him. And we actually free of flames because he didn't actually hit us with the flamethrower. So that's something that makes us feel very good, and the pyro feels very stupid. However, good pyros, they will just kill you every time, because they know they're going to do that. So what they do... Or what you should do as a pyro to, uh, like, if this happens to you as a pyro and you're just, like, fucking sniper, broken-ass shit class. You keep in mind, the sniper has to be really close to um, melee you, and the flamethrower range is longer than his melee range. So what you do is you just stop and just stand there out of his range and you just burn him. And if he comes closer, you air blast him. Or in this case, you could air blast him off the edge. So, yeah, we're just still here on upwards, just hanging out here. We just snap shot, just looking, see if we can see anything. And now we decide to. Yeah, we're gonna shoot through this little hole. When something walks in here and we have a clear shot, we will pull the trigger. Because this is really small ledge. Okay, I thought I saw something. Fire didn't really hit anything. Let's see if we can hit something. I think we got a pyro! Yeah, we got that guy! Woo! Kudos to us. And then the medic died. I'm not sure if we got him. Yeah, okay. And there's- Oh, there's an error! The error! Shoot the error! Boom! Yeah, kill the error! And uh, checking our backs for spies. You know, I heard a pistol. It might have been a spy. Friendly or... Evil. We hit the pyro. Oh, no, error is back! Error is back! Oh no! How will we ever survive this error? We get a demo man. So at this point in time, if we throw Jurati, how far can he go? Well, it doesn't go that far. So right now we are kind of vulnerable if we don't check our backs. But uh, we haven't had any troubles with spies yet, so we will see. Um, I haven't really died to anything else. Ah, getting a medic as well. Nice little pick there. Being a good uh, sniper position, standing in the back here, and we're not being really pressured, so we can take the time and oh, 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 oh! When do you throw Jurati? When there's more than one guy on the cart? Throwing Jurati, getting the medic, getting the pyro, and that was all she wrote. Then we died. But um. What happened to the rest of the people? Because they were all in Jurati. We only killed two. I missed it. So let's look. Let's see what happens here. There we go. So there's four of them in Jurati. I get the medic and I get the them. And here is the heavy. And they're basically just cleaning up everything. The soldier dies and then the heavy dies. Everybody just die. Happily ever after. So... Yeah, and this feels pretty fun killing me with the bushwhacker too. 
So once again, I will show you another example of where having the SMG or the Jurati wouldn't make any difference in your play whatsoever. So we're now here. Keep in mind, we are a sniper, so we can't really see anything more than this circle. So things that are going on here, we don't see. Uh, seeing that spy, gonna throw Jurati, he's in Jurati. And here's the thing, sometimes it's hard to tell if a spy is dead dreaming or not. Like, is he dead or is he not dead? I don't know. Mm, you know? But if you throw Jurati at them, they will still be jurati while they're dead ringing. You know, if they, they're in piss and then they hold it out and then they die. Die. You'll still see them running around. So like, yeah, totally dead ringer. So it's like anti-dead ringer. Just saying, it's a good way to uh, tell. And we're just hanging out in the back here. Oh, we see a heavy. Oh. Our medic is charged. Just letting our friendly sniper just burn to death. And it's like, well, I was busy healing the heavy. I don't know what the fuck you're on about, sniper dumb. You dumb. This is level one sentry there. I'm just gonna fire at that. One more shot and it's down. Boom. It's focusing, firing it down. And then we're gonna run on the left hand side here, and we're not in a re not really in a position to throw Jurati at the moment uh, because it's kind of hard to hit where they are, and you don't have a clear uh, clear throw. So we see a demo man, and we headshot him, take him out, and then we just hang around the side here. And uh, you gotta be careful, man. This is a ledge down to your death right behind you, and you gotta be careful about that. Get the headshot on the, the heavy. No, it's not oh, spy! Throw Jurati, and then we. Hit him with the melee and he dies, but keep in mind, if we had the SMG, like we covered in the SMG episode, that when you use the SMG, you don't really want to use your melee weapon, like ever, as long as you have ammo for your SMG, because your SMG will serve as your melee. So basically what you do, you just glue your crosshair to whoever, and then you use the SMG and then you just gun them down, close point, so it will do, it has a higher DPS than regular melee, I'm pretty sure of that. So that is something to consider. Uh, whether we used SMG or Jurati there, the spy would have died regardless. And then we just uh, stroll back and forth here and just doing some shots. This is a good spot to be as a sniper. And you might be asking yourself, why is that? Well, I'm in the back and the enemies can't really touch me when I'm here and I have a health pack and I can retreat however I want. So this is a really good little sniper spot on the high ground as well. So it's really, really good for me and really, really bad for them. Oh, in fire. I'm just gonna grab the health kit, no problem. And, uh, yeah, getting help from Medic, rolling a bit around. You don't want to stand in a stop one spot for too long as a sniper because, uh, that is, uh... Predictable. That's gonna kill you. Oh, headshot on the heavy, uh... Headshot on the heavy again, kills him, two is all you need. And get the headshot on the demo man as well. Oh, there is something going on on the left-hand side here. Oh, a demo man. Oh, it couldn't really hit him. Got a bit of a hard angle here because he can move up and down and back and forth. But the car's moving backwards and we're gonna win. Yay! Yeah, you better run off, you dumb demo man. Woo! So that was another example of showing you that, like, sometimes it doesn't really matter what unlock you're using. As long as you're not using the fucking Razorback. I'll talk about that in the end. So, Jurati isn't really a lifesaver. You might think so, even when you're on fire. Because, what, like I said, like, when it comes to the Razorback, is if it's not the, the backstab that kills you, it will be something else shortly after. So you will still die. You know, you don't, you don't survive longer. So we are moving up here on High Tower, which is stalemate map. A soldier dumping. I try to hit him. That's kind of hard. Try to hit them too. Can't really do that. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, missed him. That's a sniper back there. Oh, missed him too. Oh, okay. Because that happens. Cause shooting people is hard. It's a scout on low ground. Don't really want to jump down there already. And oh, it's a pyro. Okay, I get the pyro. Okay, he's, he's running around the sides. Gonna roll back up here. Oh, he's back. Okay, we got him. We got him. All right, pushing the cart. Pushing the cart. Some bombs coming down from the top. Just gonna put, keep pushing the cart. I haven't seen anybody yet. Don't want to scope too much because uh, you're really open. 
And you can easily get sniped from other places. Okay, okay, so we are gonna be oh, retreating, retreating. Oh, I'm just gonna grab this little health kit over here. Grabbing that, yeah, there we go. Back to full health that you can't see because the replay and headshot the pirate. Oh, 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 okay, we're burning. We're burning, but don't worry, I have the perfect solution. I got Gerardi, and there's also health back there, so I will be absolutely fine. Bum, 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 yeah, I'm super safe. Not really, because there was just something else that killed me. That's what I'm trying to say, like... Yeah, it did protect me from uh, the flames, but it didn't protect me from fucking bombs. So, once again, back here on uh, High Tower. High Tower. And then we headshot and body shot as uh, a soldier. And we counter snipe sniper because he scoped first, and we had uh, an easier time than he did scoping and stuff like that. So, no problem. We're gonna go and work on the car here. And uh, in this, uh, I really wanna focus on if you know you're going to die and you don't really have a clear shot on the enemies and you're not 100% sure you can land the hit. Uh, you should throw a Jurati before you die. It's just something... Just something you should try and do. Just just, just a habit. Um, you should also try and throw a Jurati on your teammates. Actually, I headshot a spy, but he had overheal. And we can headshot a soldier as well. Try to get the sniper up there, but he ran away so we can't do anything about him. Getting the spy as he tries to stab our friend. Fucking useless piece of shit class. This is what the sniper says, okay? It's just what he says. Comes a spy, we Gerardi bushwhack him, and we don't have Gerardi anymore, and there's a pyro! What do we do now? We die. With a koala to our hips. Yeah, so. Yeah. And, and the worst feeling is, if you throw Gerardi, because it's like a thrown object. It takes a lot, a lot of practice to like get the throw right, and you don't always uh, hit what you want to hit. And sometimes you hit the wall. Like in competitive uh, lately, like in the steel match, I would have had a great Girati, but I hit the wall. I didn't hit anything, and my heavy counted on me to uh, hit the targets, but I didn't. And then he died, and then I died, and I was like, "Well, that was all my fault." <laughs> Engineer standing still, and if he's standing still and he hasn't seen us, we can just take the time and kill him. And then we're gonna work with this pirate to kill this uh, sentry here. Another engineer! Get him! Get that smart ass! Yeah, you got him. I'll, I'll trust in you. I'll just grab his health. Yeah! Also, one thing that goes for um, going with the rest of your team is trust in your team. If you see a spy, yep, a spy, enemy spy, and there's a pyro that puts him on fire and he's chasing him, you don't really need to do anything because the spy is going to be dead as shit. And the, you should just be like, yeah, I'm just going to let the pyro handle it. And that carries over to other things as well because often you see in uh, in Highlander games where players play 9v9 and they play as a team and stuff, you will see that the spy manages to get like two or three people following just him and just focusing on killing him when he's dead ringing. And that's what he wants. You know, that's like more people more people for one guy. That means there's going to be three less elsewhere. And here we died and we threw Jujurati and we hit actually the engineer and the soldier. So to keep in mind, these have. Keep in mind, if these would have died while in Jurati, I would have taken off 35% of their total health with that one throw. Like, effectively. But they didn't, so it didn't do anything. So it was, it was like nothing happened. Uh, one thing you should also be careful about is when spies are using Deadringer and you're chasing them with a Bushwhack or a Kukri or whatever, don't hit the spy until he decloaks, because that's when the damage reduction goes over. Or after, if he's like extending his uh, reach, you can... Extending his cloak, you can. So we throw a Jurati here, and here comes Spy. And now we dead ringers, right? And here's a bit of a mistake by me. You know, remember in the previous episode, we did about spies implementing Stabby Stabby style. We saw that a demo man blocked this path. I'm not sure if this is wide enough to block as a sniper, but I sure as hell didn't do that. I just like, you know, just... And then he's around, and I hit him, and he just goes flying. This is where he is. He went flying up here. And I'm like, where the fuck did he go? His fucked spies, damn it. 
And, oh, there's another spy. Oh, there's another spy. Duh, another spy right there. What am I gonna do? I don't have a razor back. I don't have Jurati. I don't have anything. All right, I'll just turn around. Yeah, good, excellent. All right, I'm just gonna hit him with my fucking knife. Come here. Come here. Come here. Bam. Easy operation. It's not very hard. If you just had good habits of checking your back, you don't have to worry about spies ever. Spies will kill you when you're busy with something else. So as long as you keep that in mind, you know, like, well, I'm busy with something else, now would be the prime moment for a spy to strike. And then you check your back and you see, like, oh, I caught you, Mr. Spy. You cannot uh, hurt me right now because I have caught you. <laughs> you may go on the, around the corner while, and hide your eyes and holy, that was a good job on scout. <laughs> he just walked into our crosshair and we just pulled the trigger. Nothing more fancy than that. And oh, that was a pyro! Yeah, we got him. We're burning. It's a soldier and oh, these bombs. Okay, run away. Run away. Grab the health kit. Grab the O. Oh. We were on fire. And we couldn't extinguish ourselves. Oh! Afterburn. He was good. Now we're on bad water! Which is not a bad map, it's a good map. And we... Yeah, people saying in chat, in case you don't know... In case you don't know, if a pirate comes up to you, and he just goes... Poof, on the flamethrower, and then he goes... And he runs away, and you have 59 health, you're gonna burn to death, because... You will take 60 damage of afterburn. 60 damage, that's a body shot. Over, over time. And I think this is me dancing the can-can. Does it look good? But 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 No, I'm done. Okay. Skip that then. So yeah, keep in mind, afterburn is really dangerous if you use the bushwhacker. Keep in mind, if you wear the bushwhacker, I mean, I didn't wear the bushwhacker until like a year after it was out because I used the kukri. Because when you use the bushwhacker, you should you are absolutely fine with pyros destroying. You're saying, I'm giving up my resistance to fire to be able to do a lot more damage when people are covered in Jurati or I'm in the buff banner or something like that. So you're you're saying I admit that pyros will kill me easily. No problem, easy operation. And that's something you should keep in mind. If you look at the stats, you should be like, well. I should be fine with this, you know, if you use the gloves running urgently as a heavy, you should like, yeah, I'm fine with taking a shit ton of damage when I run with these. I'm fine with that. And there we have uh, the yo dog thing. And this is like, yo dog, I, yo dog, I heard yo and yo dog like yo's, yo yo's, so we put yo dog in a yo yo, so yo can yo 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 dog while yo dog yo yo's dog said exhibit and looked very happy. There's a sniper up there. Oh! Okay. Running around. Walking around. Oh, we see a medic. Yeah, did really hit him. There's a sniper. Yeah, he's up there! Ah! Oh! Taking him down! I think that was Mangachu that was in here the other day and was being very angry. I think he managed to get himself banned from Rocket Blast 2, I think. Because that guy was mad about something. He's a, he's a streamer, I think. So, we are now pushing the carts. We haven't really thrown Jurati that much. And now we're gonna do something that I like to do. I like to go over here, because if you jump, if you crouch before you jump, you're actually able to get up here and- Oh! Look at this! Treasure! Treasure, we found treasure. However, this treasure is gonna fire at us. And we're like, oop, doop! Okay, um... Okay. We ran around the side and we threw Jurati, and we got- Oh, dude, we got four of them. We got the medic, two engineers, and a pyro. Literally their entire defense on the right hand side of the map If you look this way <laughs> If you look that way it's on the left side because it's you know opposite It's like when you go something like hey you got something here on your face and they go like what here? I'm like no no here here and then they go oh, oh yeah I mean, I mean here No here And yeah Uh Well, shit, it didn't do anything. 
None of them took damage. Oh no, our medic got stabbed by a spy and he got away. Oh. Alright, throwing Jurati because we're in fire height. Gonna do a peek over here. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Try again. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Hiding in here. Ow. Don't try and sneak up on a sentry because that thing is fucking relentless with its aim. So with that, we're gonna finish up the last replay of the day before we go into the raffle. And that is to look where Jurati is absolutely fucking kick ass. <laughs> the one replay where it's like really, really good. Seeing a demo man getting taken out. Oh, sniper! A counter sniper, yeah. Throwing to Jurati! Here's a Jurati. Here it is. Slowing it down. Come on. Teamwork. That's the right one, yeah. Bum 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 bada bum 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 here comes the Jurati. Getting everything and they're on fire, they're already really weak, and they're just gonna die. Boom. Dead. Yeah, we got him. Now we push on to victory. And then we get killed by a roller. And that's the Jurati episode. Yeah, so without uh, on the end I man man managed I mentioned I managed to mention something. And that's why I talk about um, reliability. Because SMG is by far, or stock, stock weapons in general are by far the most reliable weapons ever. It goes for most cases. Um, so the Jurati, it is dependent on other things hitting the target you painted with P, pretty much. So it depends on your team being able to focus fire it down, like demo men and soldiers and heavies and sentries are just really, really good because they're like the damage dealers, like the heaviest damage dealers, and they will do even more damage. They will die even faster, so it's really good. Uh, it also, that's like the whole dependent thing. Because like we saw, we threw a Jurati and there were a bunch of people in Jurati, but nobody shot at them, so nothing happened. So it's like Ubering, you're a medic and you're like, I'm gonna get that sentry. But I'm not gonna Uber anyone, I'm just gonna Uber because Ubers are good against sentries. No, Uber in itself, not very good. So Jurati in itself, not very good. It, it shows visible, invisible spies and can help you with put out a fire once. One throw, you can do that. But what I wanna mention, uh, why like the Razorback is such a bad uh, choice, like in more of a like, strategic one, is that it relies on your opponents doing something. And you never want to give your opponent a say in anything, ever, really. So, like you're relying on that the enemy spy won't stab you. That is like, I think it's protection from stabs. But you're relying on that he is not gonna stab you. And then he's just gonna shoot you anyway or something else kills you and it didn't really do anything. We said we didn't really have a problem with spies. Not at all. I don't have a problem with spies. I play a sniper main all the time on pubs and I don't have trouble with spies because the thing is if I get killed by a spy, it's fine. I get killed by things all the time. And Jurati is like more useful because it does something. It's not passive. You can actually do stuff with it. Razorback protects you against the backstab once. That's all. And in terms of reliability, SMG is by far the most reliable unlock for the sniper because Whenever you pull it out and you aim at somebody, you will always do damage when you shoot at them. Always, there's like nothing. Sometimes you're out, you can throw and there's like a teammate who like runs right in front of you and you hit your teammate and you don't hit anything. And you're like, mother. <laughs> you know, you can't, cause he was in the way. But with SMG, you know, bullet hit scan weapons go through your teammates. They do, no problem. Um. So yeah, so that was the uh, Girardi. Uh, so it depends, either SMG or Jurati. Jurati and SMG, I think, are just as good. One is more reliable than the other, but like the outcome can be very different because the outcome of an SMG is like stable damage all the time. It's pretty predictable. But with SM with Jurati, it's like either you miss or, or you hit or they get hit or they don't get hit at all. It's very much like it, it varies a lot the result 
like either it can like kill everyone like super fast or it doesn't do anything at all uh, so that is important to note with Jurati. It's just not instantly better because it does 35% damage production. I meant to see defense reduction. But yeah. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Follow, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we will go on to the raffle, but you on YouTube won't see that.